Did, we, did you surprise even yourself getting back so fast with that knee? Um, no, I didn't surprise myself. I always had in the back of my mind once I was cleared of some like significant damage in there that I was going to give myself every shot to get back as quickly as I could. Um, the coaching staff and, and the medical staff were really, really brilliant for me. They were um, really flexible in, in allowing me to push as hard as I possibly could and um, to get back in that short period of time was, was good for my confidence and I'll be, I'll be much better for the run this week. What's the mood been like in the club? Um, obviously it hasn't been the ideal start the first three weeks. What's the focus been this week and have you adjusted heading into it? Yeah, um, I think we're quite lucky in the, the demographic of our group. Um, our mood's been quite consistent throughout. We have fully aware that we're not playing nearly as good of the footy as we believe we can, but um, we try not to ride the emotional roller coaster of the footy landscape with just wins and losses. Um, we try and stay pretty consistent and like Warp said, we're, we're ever evolving and we're, we're trying to nail our game plan as well. So um, it's exciting that we get to sort of come out in the marquee clash against Hawthorne, the old rivals on Monday and, and have another opportunity at that. Speaking of that rivalry, how intense is it? I'll start with you and ask you, James, how intense is the rivalry still? It's been travelling for 15 years now. Is it still strong for you guys as players? Um, well, as a Geelong person, it's hard not to buy into it. I used to love watching the Eastern Monday clash and um, some of the stories and, and the the adages that come out of it are, are brilliant. So it's it's fantastic to have that opportunity to play against Hawthorne, who are a, a fantastic club with a rich history. And um, I really put it in the calendar as one to earmark and get really excited for. Yeah, what about you, James? Yeah, the same. Uh, growing up as a Geelong supporter, whole family was a Geelong supporter. So I used to um, pencil in this game as one of the big ones for a year. So. Yeah, it's a privilege to play in it. Um, yeah, two big clubs going at it, and it'll be a good clash on Monday. It's Julian, and I have often Geelong and lose throwing the trot. Have you tried anything different this week or shaken up the structure of the week uh, heading into this week? No, again, like I tried to allude to with Josh, we, we try and play, try and stay pretty consistent with the way we attack each week. Um, our, our structure of our week and our structure of training hasn't changed. Um, I think that having that extra day to... Um, really knuckled down on, on what we're trying to implement in the game was really pleasing. Um, we had a, a really good session yesterday where we had some, some good honest feedback with each other and, and worked quite well on the track, which was really pleasing. Um, we went into a, probably a little bit more detail with our review, which was probably necessary, and um, it's given us a really fresh and clear focus going into this game. Scotty's alluded to a couple of areas, but is there one or two you've pinpointed to improve out of your game? Oh, I just think spending a bit more time with the, the newer people coming into some of those roles has been really important. Um, and just being a lot more synchronised with the way we're trying to defend. Um, they're probably two areas that we can really control and then obviously just our ferocity around the contest. Um, we're not, not happy with what's been happening around the contest in every phase of the game, forward, back and middle. Um, so we're going to really come out and um, again, have a really good contest against Hawthorne and try and implement the things we're trying to achieve. Would you have earmarked, I guess, to take Sam's role now that he's been with concussion? Um, I think Jake College has got through yesterday, which is really pleasing. Um, he's a really important structural piece for our team and probably a bit underrated outside of the four walls for us. But um, I think we'll probably see him come back and um, I think maybe a bit more responsibility falls on my shoulders again. And then you know, Asava gets another opportunity to, to really make that spot his own. So it's going to be a collective effort. Um, Sam's a, a really special player that has a lot of, a lot of footy ahead of him and a, and a massive scope for improvement, but it's going to take a whole collective to, to fill that void. James, just one fan contract a year. Have you got any progress or update for Hawks fans on, on where that might sit um, at the moment? Yeah, um, no, not at the moment. I think just for me, um, coming off the shoulder and um, a bit of an interrupted last year, so I'm um, just trying to get back playing some consistent footy and. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be contract talks going forward, but um, yeah, nothing at the moment. So we just had one once, um, Danger said the other day that confidence might have dropped a bit. Is that a bit surprising given you want to flag three games ago, how quickly confidence gets going to get taken out of a side, especially as, as mature as you guys? Three games and seven months ago. Yeah. Um, the footy landscape moves so quickly and uh, I don't know if the, the confidence has waned from my behalf, but as I said, there's been some structural shifts and some personnel shifts throughout the group. So whether there's a bit of teething pain there or, as I said, there's no there's no confidence that's waned from my behalf. I'm, I'm fully aware of what we can deliver if we play the game our way. Um, but unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that for long enough in the first three rounds. There's probably been 
shifts within games where we haven't really controlled what we can control and um, teams have been able to make the most of those moments. So um, for me personally, my confidence hasn't waned at all. Um, my belief in this group and this club is, is massive and um, the opportunity to, to come out here against Hawthorne is something that I'm really looking forward to, to, to get back on the winning train and, and who knows what's ahead of us. How much does that factor into your mental preparation that Easter Monday is always a huge day? You've always got it on the calendar and now it's possibly more important for your season than maybe ever before. Does that factor in at all, knowing um, what this game is for your season setting up as well as playing? Um, oh, to be blunt, Josh, they're all worth four points. None more so are important than any other. But to have to be in the position we're in and to come up against the Hawks on Easter Monday, yeah, Potentially, might be a couple of percent more, but I won't speak for anybody else. My motivation levels are, are at an all-time high, uh, regardless of who we play and when we play them. So I'm just excited to represent the footy club on Monday and, and just put my best foot forward and help where I can.